Art Style Study Part 5, the final part. This one, not referencing just one artist, but I'm mashing them all together to one big, weird, gross pile that nobody asked for. I'm gonna be taking one element from each artist. First being the rendering. Brooks Kin, I'm gonna be taking that style of rendering. The proportions, Lotus Bubble. Brush style, like the watercolor brushes, AVV Art. And then the effects on the very top. Noon Vincent. This is gonna be a really weird piece, I know that for sure. When first starting this drawing, I put down the guidelines, make it easier on myself. But it doesn't make it that much easier for myself since I'm not that good at drawing guidelines. They kinda suck. I feel like the way I do guidelines for hands is pretty weird compared to most others. Oh, and here I am tracing my reference so I know what it looks like. I'm not actually tracing it onto like my drawing, I'm just referencing my own trace. No, the, the way I, I do guidelines for hands is, is just straight up draw it. Just go for it. No actual true guidelines. And I'm working on the sketch here now that I've done these very basic guidelines. I had a lot of fun drawing these eyes. It was a little challenging at first though, since it's got to be on the bigger side of things, which I'm usually not used to. And a lot of these, like the eyes, the nose, the mouth, I just really like the way I drew it. Even the jaw, even though uh, I'm fixing it right there. But I don't know, it just looks so good. And now I'm moving on to the rest. And I did that zippity quick. Oh, and me drawing the hands. With Lotus Bubble, I hadn't seen a lot of hands. I just decided to draw hands how, how I would do them normally. Here I start fixing up the proportions. And I also fix up the liner a little bit. And then I move on to the hair. For the hair, I didn't know how to do if I was going to do realism or if I instead should do stylized and I decided to do Lotus Bubble inspired hair. Okay, now on to the rendering. I feel like this was kind of a, an oversight on my part, but when it comes to Br Brooks Kim's art style, the usage of an airbrush is super important. When I was looking through AVV Art's brushes and the ones that are actually used in his pieces, I had not seen an airbrush unless i'm blind i had not seen an airbrush so that meant i had to use the be next best thing which was a soft watercolor brush which doesn't quite get the same effect at all and it makes the rendering pretty odd during this piece i really challenged myself to stay primarily zoomed out for almost the entire piece just so that like i wouldn't really focus on the little tiny details it would also make it so it's visually more interesting and not a nightmare to watch and also just to save time because it actually does save time to be zoomed out for a majority of your pieces and then zooming in for the small details And then I use another brush here, which is a flat watercolor brush. And then here I'm adding these, I don't even know if they're highlights, these just random strokes of color, which is on the warmer tones Brooks Kim has in almost every single one of his pieces. And for this, I know that I said I was doing rendering like Brooks Kim, but I decided to keep the line art in there. And I actually doubled down on it and decided to do a Lotus Bubble style of line art just to have it f feel like multiple um, art styles mashed into one. So, and then here's the effects. For the effects, I didn't stay true to Noon Vincent style and I kind of just decided to do my own thing. Decided to do a flame. Obviously, one thing that did add from his art style, uh, well, two things actually, is the highlights, like the exaggerated highlights, and also these weird, sharp Doritos. When I look at this piece, I definitely see that there are some issues here, like the rendering of Brooks Kim. It's not really here. It doesn't really feel like his style of rendering. Lotus Bubbles, proportions, stylization. I think I, I, think I did that pretty, pretty decently well. The brushes. I feel like the brushes feel a little faithful, just a little bit. When it came to the effects, I really didn't know what to do with it, honestly. <laughs> just gave her a flame and eye. 